Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome to the series where we are building patches from scratch on the mighty Autoria Mini Brute 2. So this is a kind of episode zero, if you like, of the series where we're going to talk about our starting points for patches. Because if you've seen any of my patch building videos before, the first thing I do pretty much in every video is uh, load an initialized patch. But of course, the uh, Mini Brute uh, does not have patch memory or presets. So what we actually need to do is turn the knob so that we get to a sensible starting point. So that's what I want to establish in this video so that in all of the subsequent videos, we've kind of got um, a starting point that if you're following along at home with the patches, you'll be starting from the same place as well. So at the moment, I've got a needlessly complicated patch, lots and lots of patch cables here, uh, trying to emulate something from the uh, portal soundtrack, kind of. Quite a fun little patch, but it's not a good starting point for building other patches. There's also reverb on it, uh, which I'll take off in a second, but I was playing with my new reverb and I like the spring reverb on it. So let's talk about what an initialized patch on the Mini Brute looks like as far as we're concerned for uh, this series. So the first and most obvious thing is we are going to remove these patch cables, uh, which makes me feel very sad because I spent forever plugging them in to do interesting stuff, but that is what we deal with when we have a synth without patch memory. There's a certain zen to that right there. Okay, so um, moved all the patch cables. Now uh, I think what we'll do is we'll start with the LFOs and then we'll kind of move across uh, from left to right, because that kind of makes sense when you're looking at uh, what we're doing here. So, uh, first of all, the LFOs, um, pretty straightforward. I'll, I'll just stick the rate somewhere in the middle, switch them over to triangle waves, and make sure they are on free mode rather than sync mode. So if they're on, um, sorry, the seek mode, uh, they'll be synchronized to the sequencer, uh, at least to begin with. I think it's probably better to have them free so that you can set the timing exactly as you like. So, uh, moving across to the VCO1 section and the uh, oscillator mixer associated with it. So fine tune, we'll leave where it is. Glide will set to zero, pulse width will set to zero. Uh, that means that it's um, uh, at the normal square wave. A metalizer will set to zero, uh, FM will set to zero, auto amount will set to zero. This is pretty straightforward. We're setting all of these to zero. And then we'll turn down on the mixer here, everything other than uh, the sawtooth. Over on the oscillator two, uh, what we could do just to make life a little bit easier. Let's get to a point, which we are at the moment where the two are in tune. So that's good, but then I'll turn it down. Uh, so moving over to the filter section, we'll have the uh, cutoff set to full. We'll have the FM in the middle. This is a bipolar knob, so a negative FM and positive FM. So we want that in the middle. Uh, resonance will set to zero. Uh, same thing with the uh, resonance mod, that's bipolar. So we want that in the middle. Uh, we'll have a uh, low pass mode set on the filter and we'll turn the attenuator to the cutoff down all the way. Brute factor will turn off. And then coming onto the envelope uh, for the ADSR, we're going to set up with a, an organ style envelope, um, which means that we have our attack and release at zero. Our decay, um, we may as well have it zero to begin with and the sustain we want on full. And then here on the AD envelope, we'll have attack and decay at the bottom and we'll make sure we're on gate mode so that when we play a note, it carries on playing. Oh, I've still got that reverb on, turn that off like that. If we have it on trig mode and we have attack and decay at zero, we'll hear nothing because it closes straight away. Um, and if we have these up, then we'll have fade in. We just want straight organ sound. And that, um, other than clearing our uh, sequence, of course, so we'll just go to um, arrays here and we'll erase the sequence I was working on there. Now we have a completely blank slate uh, with which we can build the rest of our patch. So there we go guys, we have got our blank slate that we are going to work from. It's not an exciting patch, it is intentionally the most boring patch you can make, but it does mean that we have a nice blank canvas in order to build the wonderful sounds that we're going to be building across this series. Uh, so I hope you'll join me for the actual patch building parts of the series. Um, we'll have some bass and some lead sounds first of all, and then I'm happy to take requests. If there are certain things you want to see, um, let me know in the comments. Until next time guys, take care. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.